Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and you're here for a fun project where we're painting together. That's what we do here. Which is so much fun. <laughs> oh, we have Keenan in the back really quickly before we get started. I want to introduce Keenan. He's going to up front. Yeah. Gonna he's going to pop in and say hi. So if this is your first video with us, I'm the artist Nicole filming with Keenan. Popping up. This is Keenan. We're hi. filming with you, our little artist here. And so today what we're doing is we're doing something different. It's called a dot painting. And if you've never heard of that, I'm excited to introduce you to it because this is what we're painting. Oh. So exciting. Oh. So we're painting a little underwater scene and we're gonna be doing it, if you look really closely, they're made with all these little dots. So the supplies I would like you to get out is paper. I'm using black paper. You can use regular paper or white paper. You don't have to have the specific supplies. So have your paper, have your acrylic paint. So this is a little bit different. We're using these really cool paints. So they're a little bit thicker if you're used to watercolors. Now, grab those. The colors I'm gonna be used is I'm gonna be using some blues because we're gonna be painting the water. The yellow and the green I'm gonna be using for my fish. And then the darker green is what we're gonna be using for the kelp or seaweed. What do you call it? Seaweed? Seaweed. Is kelp I think the same of it because you can use seaweed for food. Seaweed is and very good. And that makes me happy. <laughs> do you know how to say it in Japanese? No, do you? Nori. Nori? 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 Nori. So that's also seaweed. <laughs> but, so those are the supplies. Then the other, or that's your paint. Then we're going to be using Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever you call them. Hmm. We're going to be using that to make the little dots. So if you don't have those, maybe grab a pencil that it's okay to use the top of the eraser because it might get a little hard after. So grab something to use as your tool to basically dot. Then we're gonna get started. Okay, step one is have your paper out. I'm going to use, you can either use a pencil or you can use, I'm gonna use a white pencil just because it shows up a little bit more. Grab something because I wanna show you how we're gonna draw this out. So you have this blank canvas. Oh, before we start. We have a motto that we do here together at Let's Make Art. And so if you can repeat after me, raise your right hand and then repeat after me. Yes, ma'am. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <clears throat> Boom! So we like to start that way, get off. We're all artists here together. So after you do that, now we are very much ready to get started. You have a blank piece of paper, but guess what? It is going to have all of your fun drawings on top of it. So what I'd first like you to do is we're gonna start by drawing the waves. And so to do that, there are a few different things that you can do. First one is, I'm gonna start at the left side. So the left is this side. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm going to just draw a curve. So when I draw my curve, I went up and I went down. So it makes this kind of S. So that's one way that you can draw a curve or draw the, so we're drawing the blue waves right now. I'm gonna draw a second one below. And you know what's cool is it's okay where you draw it. So see how I drew it in the middle of the page? I wanted to make this strip. So think of it as a, this kind of, if you think of it as we're looking up above, it kind of looks like a river, right? Totally looks like a river. So that's one. So that's one wave that I'm drawing. I wanna draw, let's see, let's draw three more. So I'm gonna start from my left side again. I move to the paper. What if it's a giant mermaid's blue hair? She's just swimming through the water. That is perfect. It totally could be. Could be. I love it. That's the coolest thing here is that we want you to be use your imagination. Keenan's really good at that. I love to use my imagination. That's what he's here for. So yes, we're gonna draw another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw another line and it's just a little bit less curved. So that's the beautiful thing is that your curves can look different than mine. That's the beauty of drawing is we all are unique. We all have our own way of doing things. So I'm gonna draw, so I have a total of four lines. So that's another curve. So this is one, this is two. Let's do another one. So I'm gonna come, so right now I'm gonna come at the bottom of my paper and I'm coming up to the right. So it's all looking like the stream is going like that. And then I'm gonna draw one more line. So we have one, two, three. Let's draw a small one over here. So those are my wave lines. Now, let's see. Let me get 
the steps so I can make sure. Okay, next step is we're gonna draw your little fish. So to draw fish, I am going to, I'm gonna start kind of in the middle on the top. So if you see there's three, I'm gonna start it about right here. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it and going like that. So to draw a fish, what I would like you to do is draw a half circle coming up. So see, I went up and down. So that's the top half of my fish. So the top, and then now I wanna draw the bottom part. So I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw down and then come up. What does that look like to you? Football. <laughs> you got really excited. That is a football, say an eye or a, an almond, if you like almonds. Ooh, oh, you're saying like an eyeball shape, an yeah. eye shape. Oh yes, not gotcha. the letter I. Not the letter I. <laughs> an eyeball. So that's the shape that you're drawing. Then I want to draw the, the back fin that this guy has. So to do that, I'm gonna start at the right side of my fish and I'm gonna draw a line up. So I'm gonna draw basically a triangle. So a triangle has three sides. So I'm gonna draw one line up, one line down, and then I'm gonna connect those two lines. So there's the fish, so it looks like it's swimming this way. Now what I wanna tell you is if you were to draw the triangle this side, it would look like the fish is swimming that way. So you can decide which way your fish are swimming. Mm. Then every fish needs a friend. True. So let's draw two more fishes. So I'm gonna draw another one maybe about right here. So I'm gonna draw a hump going up. So my calf curve and then going down. And then I'm gonna draw my triangle here. So up, down, connect. And then let's draw one more friend. Repeat that, so up, down, connect, up down, connect. So those are my three friends. Now, when you're looking at this, if you also want, again, the, this is your painting, so I want you to make this, I want you to use your imagination, your creativity, because you are creative, and draw this how you want. So if you want to add fins to your fish, I'm gonna draw one up here. So I'm gonna take the top half, and I'm gonna start it at the body, because if you think about, if you look at a fish, the fin isn't floating like this, it's actually touching, right? The top of the fish. My, my, does that look, my it hands look like, like fish. this. <laughs> so I'm going to start at the top, so I'm gonna touch the body, the top, the head. Actually, this would make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna draw a fin on top of my head, on the fish's head, and we're gonna draw a line up, and then maybe your fin comes out like here and then connects. Oh. So, you, so you can draw them like that or you can draw them pointed. Maybe you want more of a Kinda pointed fin. Kind of looks like fin. a ball cap. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so that's how you can draw fins. So you can add a few more if you wanna draw them on your other guys. Let's see. Now what I wanna show is also fish are all different. They might have stripes, they might have dots. Fish, I'm trying to think what else fish can have. All different size lines. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna draw stripes on my fish, cause they're all, I'm gonna draw them all in the scales. same family. Fish definitely have scales. You can draw scales on yours. But I'm gonna draw a stripe. So to draw a stripe, that means I'm gonna make two lines, and then when we're gonna be painting, we're gonna color on the inside. So I'm gonna draw two stripes on this guy's. So I'm gonna color in that, there and there. This one, let's say he just has one stripe. And then another stripe. Okay, once you are done with your stripes, then I want to finish out my fish. I wanna add eyeballs on this. So before we get to the paint, if you have a white marker, Let's see, you can either have this paint marker or a white jelly roll, but this is a white pen that if you have our box, will come with it. Now, if this is the first time you're using this pen, it's called a Posca paint, it's called a paint pen. So that means that there's paint inside. What you need to do if this is your first time using it is shake it maybe for 10 seconds, count to 10, and then you're going to get on another piece of paper or a, a paper towel, and you're gonna push into it. And I want you to hold it for about 10 seconds as well. And I did it on here. 
It's all good. Saved. <laughs> this happens. You know messes get everywhere. Yes, they do. I did not think about that. But what I wanted to tell you is that if to that's how you need to start it. Mine is already started, so that's why it just exploded on my paper, but that's okay. We're going to roll with it. So I'm going to draw the eyes on my fish. So if we're looking at this, the front part of this is the back part where the fin is, the back fin. The front part is about right here. I'm going to draw in this area, I'm going to draw my eyeball. So I'm going to draw an oval. An oval is just a rounded circle, so you can draw a circle as well. So I'm doing that on all three of my fish. So white dot like that. So we're bringing it to life. Then the, the middle fish just has a water cloud nearby. Oh yeah, just, just going, going through. through a weird patch of water. <laughs> it happens. Now, then, yeah, I'm gonna do this next. I am because the fish need. So if we, if you look at your own eyes, if you're painting this, maybe you look at someone else's eyes. You'll notice that you have a white part and then you have a black part, or actually a colored part. Yeah. Because yours is blue. Mine are bluish. Mine's brownish. But we all have at least some part of a black part, because even though Keenan's eyes are blue, there's a little black part. So that's the pupil. So I'm going to take, this is just a regular pen. If you have a regular pen, go grab that, or even a pencil would work. And we're going to draw the another oval inside of the oval. So can you see that? Yes. Can you see how great. that looks different? So it's giving it a direction to look at. So I'm gonna draw my black oval on all of these. So I'm drawing it on top of the white. Like that. Hmm. Now they have eyes. They're alive. I okay. Can see. <laughs> and then just for fun, I'm going to add a a little dot to all of the eyes. Just gives it a little glimmer. Because you're in the water. Shimmery glimmer. Shimmery glimmery. Okay, now your fish are ready to, or your painting is ready to be painted with. So we have my, or thy, all my acrylic paints are open right now. I'm actually going to close them. I just wanted to show you them for colors, but I'm gonna close all of them. And the reason why is that way they don't spill or dry out. I'm just gonna keep open the two that I'm using. And for right now, that is the two blues. So we're gonna start with the water. Two, I'm gonna start with the blue. So I want you to grab your Q-tip or your, like I said, you can do it with the pen, uh, end of a pencil eraser. And what I'm gonna do is I, let's see. I think you can, oh, we'll, we'll warm up really quickly. So I'm going to dip in, you don't, I'm not gonna dip in the whole part. I'm just gonna dip in the, kind of the top, the, the first part of it, so see how I still see some white? Yes. And that way it's just on the tip, and then I'm gonna dab, dip, poke. Any word you wanna use. Dab, dip, poke, <laughs> touch. Touch. And so to do that, see how it makes these cool little dots? So the thing is if you dip the whole thing, it might drip a little bit. So that's one trick that you can do to help you. I didn't think that through. All good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been wet. That's all right. I want right. you all to see what I'm doing. Our table's way covered with paint. It's That's okay. true. It'll fit right in. I should say that is make sure your area is a clean. So if you need to get some pieces of paper just to put behind it, I'm sure the adult would be happy if you did that. Yes. So I'm going to start. I'm do using the light blue, and again, I'm just dipping part of it. And so my wave, this is my first wave. So that whole part inside of it, I'm going to dip and dab. Dip and dab and touch. <laughs> dip and dab and touch. And so spread. If it, if it starts to get like that and you don't have a full circle, I actually think that looks really cool. At any point though, feel free to go back in and then get more color. So I'm gonna go keep going along the line. And then when I get to the finish, get to the end, I'm gonna keep going. So if you want, you can do this whole, the left side, this side of the part, the wave, and then keep going, or you can do it all in a line. This, 
is what we're going to be doing. So the entire painting, that's what this is called. This is a dot painting. And so we're going to do this. Have you ever done this before, Kiva? I have not. I've seen one. I've seen someone use a pencil and yeah. they did a glass with or like drink pouring into the glass. And it was amazing. Oh. So this is like first step learning how to do that. That is really cool. Really cool. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to show you one other part. Oh my goodness. Pause, everyone. Okay. I forgot to draw the seaweed. Oh. So, we're going to switch gears for one second, is I want to draw the seaweed, and the reason why is that I'm gonna draw them on the bottom. So seaweed comes from the bottom and it grows up. So it's really cool, it's a really beautiful green plant that goes like this in the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that so we can draw curved and wavy lines coming from the bottom. So when I'm doing that though, instead of on my wave lines, how we drew them not touching, I want my seaweed lines to touch. So I'm going to start without them touching but then end with them touching. So I'm gonna draw a few of those. You can make them at different heights. So just remember to start and end with them, or end with them touching. Now, the reason why you may be thinking, why are they different heights? Is that they are, just like anything, we all grow at different heights. We're all different, different sizes. That's the beautiful thing about us as human beings and, and in nature is that it's the same thing, we're all a little bit different, so we all can make them different sizes, different, if you wanna make them a little bit bigger. It's a beautiful thing about nature. So I'm gonna draw a few more, and I want them to be all along the entire bottom of our painting. So, I would take a, to pause and do that. Then, I am going to show you how if you want to keep going, and you can keep going with your blue, I'm going to do the second one, and I'm going to switch up and use a different blue. So I'm going to use a darker blue, and so I want to use another Q-tip. And this is also, if you are like me and you want to, to, switch, to switch colors, I would put it like that. Actually, no. I would grab a paper towel so I don't want it to roll off. Mm. And set it down. That's probably the smarter thing. That's a good idea. Okay, so do that. So I'm gonna grab my blue, dark blue. I'm gonna dip in, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna add my dots to my blue. Here's another, I'm just gonna give you a lot of helpful tips. If you bring the pot closest to where you are, then you don't have to keep reaching. Pro tip. Pro tip. Artist tip. Artist friend, tip. friend tip. I'm going to give that to you. They also do that while painting roads. Oh, that the would make sense. Because it's a giant truck full of paint. Yeah. Because if they had to go with rollers up the road, miles away from where they work, it would take them years. It would be crazy. <laughs> so when you are doing any of your waves that you do, I just wanted to mention that touch a seaweed. So like this one is my seaweed goes and it touches my waves. For now, try and avoid that. Avoid means... Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm trying to think of another <laughs> way of saying that word. Is go around it. So the reason why is that if you're looking at this is you'll see that there's blue and then there's green. I want the seaweed is in front of it. So that means that it... it it's in front of it, which means that you can't see it. Yep. Let me see. Actually, come here. Can you come here for a second? Okay. I'll do the water. Okay. I wish I was wearing green. Okay. So come like halfway behind. So now you can't see Keenan, but if he comes up from the side, can you see? You see all of me. Pretend I'm green and I'm the seaweed. He's the wave. Actually, he was wearing blue. Waves move. So come on. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth. So you see part of him. So that's the same thing, is that you'll see part of the wave, not the whole wave. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Thank fun. you for the demonstration. It was fun either way. <laughs> 
So because of that, I am going to leave this part because I haven't gotten to the green yet. I'm going to leave that blank. So I'm just going to draw my, my waves, paint my waves, add my dots, and go around the seaweed. Another thing is that when you're dipping, this paint is very thick. And so if you dip too much and it starts to have, it goes like that and it has a little drip. If it's too much, it's okay. Just kind of scrape off to the edge and then go for it. I know you got it. So you can see that I'm just gonna keep going. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're going to fast forward and I'm going to do all of my waves. You'll see me kind of move around. I'm gonna go around also my fish because it's the same thing. The fish are in front of the waves. So I'm gonna do that. So you'll see me, we're gonna go fast and then I'll meet you back then. Okay, go. Zoom. Zoom. Okay, we are back. So as you saw, I did all four of my waves. If you want, if you saw what I did was I did every other wave was a different color. So you can do that. And I wanted to say is I'm leaving these waves. So these waves I'm gonna leave black. You can do the whole thing if you want, but if you look at this, it's cool because it adds some dimension to it. And dimension means some, a different playing field. So it's a different space that I see. So I chose to do that. But what I wanna say is we're gonna take a break. So pause this video, go take a break. We're gonna let this paint fully dry and then we're gonna do the fish. Get a fruit snack. Keenan wanted to say that. Okay, we'll see you in a second. A few minutes. Okay, so I did all my water. I did the three, the four different ones. Now we are going to move on to our fish. So I'm gonna close up my blue. We're gonna move on and I'm gonna paint my fish green, this really fun lime green. Whoo, that's bright. That's how bright that was. Green and yellow. So I'm gonna open those two up, grab, I'm gonna grab a new Q-tip. And just so you know, you can use both sides of the Q-tip. You have, if you have our box, you have a whole pack of them, so you can use them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the main part of my fish yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip in, just dip in half again. And the front part, I'm going to make yellow. And then when I'm doing this is I'm going to go around my eyeball. So that way the white is still there. How long do you think we waited for that water to dry? Which is a funny thing to say. Because <laughs> water actually doesn't dry. Is the water dry? Is it dry? Probably waited 15 okay. minutes. Would you say that's? Yeah, I think that's right. Yes. We're gonna speed dry it, but our speed dryer's out of gas. It's out of gas. It's okay. We just waited, like you all waited. Hopefully, you got a snack. Uh huh. Tell us what snack. <laughs> so, while we were talking, I realized I didn't say is that I am deciding to. I want to make my stripes green. So that's why you will see that I avoided them, just like I went around my my other every other water. So every other mm -hmm. section. I made yellow. And I'm going to make my fins yellow as well. You can make them green. These are your fish. And then I'm going to move this because it's closer to my fin and I'm gonna make my fin yellow. I, I'm trying to think what kind of fish these are. Mm -hmm. Kind of made it up. Use my imagination. Do they look like a fish to you? I don't know anything about fish. I always call every fish a goldfish. Or a shark. <laughs> I mean, those are my choices. Goldfish or a shark? Yes. What about? It's kind of like a clownfish. Okay, Nemo. The stripes make Nemo. me think of Nemo. Nemo just had had some green on him. Big fan of Nemo. Love that movie. Dory is. I don't know what kind of fish Dory is. You gonna look it up? Do you have what a favorite kind of fish? fish is Dory. Ooh. You have a favorite fish. Should we want to know? Oh. <gasps> This wasn't gonna look like, but and there's this fish in Hawaii, Keenan. Do you know this? That's called the 
Huma huma nuku nuku apua. What? <laughs> How long did it take you to learn that? So long. I tried so hard. <laughs> There's so many fish. I'm excited, but that's that's just my favorite word. Huma Can you huma. Say it again. Huma huma nuku nuku apua. I hope I'm saying it right. That's amazing. Um, Dory is a royal blue tang. Tang. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna make this guy Dory. Perfect. Cause she's blue. I'm gonna. Switch up. I'll Switch make her blue. It up. Switch it up. Okay. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use my. Thanks for that information. You're welcome. I'm switching and I'm going to make these stripes green. So I'm adding that in. Oh, got a little bit of green. That's okay. Now. When you're doing this, if. So my yellow is a little bit wet. I'm just going to be very careful. I'm going to move slow and try not to touch it. Cool. Now, let's close those up. I painted my fish. Now, I want to paint the third one and make the story. So I'm going to grab my blue. Just dip in halfway. Dip and touch. So I'm adding these fun dots. Dory has a white stripe, right? She's Dory blue. Dory has, actually it's a like a black stripe. Oh. Wait, wait that's even more perfect. I know. It's <gasps> perfect. So let's see. Let me get you a good picture of Dory. There's a lot of good pictures of Dory. She's very animated and very fun. She is very animated. Here you go. Okay, that's perfect. Can you see that? Yes! Oh, and she has a yellow. Oh, well, too late. She has uh, a yellow tail. That's all right. This could be Dick. It's all right. This could be Dory's cousin. Correct. <laughs> Doris. <laughs> yes. I love it. Okay, now, so I painted my fish. I'm going to leave this stripe black because Dory is a black stripe, but if you want to paint your stripe, you can. Now, I'm going to add, so you see how I have my green seaweed, I'm going to, I closed up my other ones and I'm going to go and I'm going to open up my green. Let's put it over here. I'm going to grab a new cotton swab and I'm going to dip and dot my seaweed. Now, a couple of things I just want to say while I'm dotting is if you when you're doing this and you you're kind of pressing really hard and if any of your cotton swab if it starts to the hairs kind of straggle just switch to the other side you're not doing anything wrong it's just time to switch it up so just mix it up then dab all the way in i'm going to keep moving on I think we're going to do one more zoom. Are you cool with that, Keenan? I'm so cool with it. Okay. We're going to zoom. So keep going. Do all of your seaweed. See so you have all of these spots. So go over that. And then I'll meet you back. Zoom. We finished our painting, you added the seaweed. So first we did the water, you did the fish, you did the seaweed. You created a whole underwater painting. I hope you had so much fun. It was so great to paint with you. Keenan and I loved having you, yes. we little artists. Always remember that you are brave, you are kind, and you are creative. Boom. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.